Hey guys, Turner Laz here with J&G Fitness. Welcome back to the channel. This video truly means a lot to me and I wanna make sure I cover every single little thing that there is to know about this wonderful, nutritious, wholesome bread that um, Food for Life has um, gracefully put on earth <laughs> for us. Okay, so let's go into uh, my experience with the bread, all right? So as you know, I'm a personal trainer, a uh, huge advocate of uh, nutrition and uh, what you need to eat and what to avoid. I have offered uh, this bread to many of my clients to taste and I've recommended them to buy um, either the, the English muffin version of the bread or the actual bread. There's actually a, a variety of different breads. I mean, there's uh, low sodium, there's the uh, raisin and cinnamon, uh, there's the regular, uh, there's quite a few. In fact, there's actually a whole line of food for life, gluten-free breads. I have been using this bread now for years, um, well over a decade now. Uh, if I recall, I think I started incorporating it into my nutrition back in 2008, okay? So it's been part of my life now for quite a while. It's a staple of my uh, daily nutrition. And the reason why I'm saying daily nutrition is because I start off the morning using this uh, as part of my breakfast, along with my eggs and oatmeal and whatever else uh, I might be eating uh, for breakfast. So this I eat religiously every single morning. And um, let me tell you, uh, it's it's gone a long way for me. This is a bread that contains absolutely no flour. It's hard to find something like that. Uh, it has absolutely no flour, no sugar. The dietary uh, fiber count is, is pretty high. It's at uh, uh, three grams. The protein is at four grams. You know, the bread actually is a little higher. The bread is at five grams of um, protein, okay? So, uh, not only that, uh, it has a ton of vitamins and, and minerals. Uh, it's very wholesome. It's satiating, so it'll keep you full. For me, it, it, it's great. I mean, starting off my morning with this, it also serves as a pre and post workout meal. So, I mean, you can't go wrong. Uh, when you couple this with peanut butter or, or almond butter, uh, peanut butter has a lot of peanut butter. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of peanut butter. Yeah, it has a lot of peanut butter. Peanut butter has a lot of protein is what I meant to say. Um, up to eight grams of protein, right? So if you think of it, you know, you add peanut butter to this, you're getting four grams of, of a complete protein because this is actually a complete protein. Um, real deal protein coupled with the the peanut butter you're getting up to 12 grams of uh, protein these items must be refrigerated if you leave it out it will undoubtedly mold within two to three days it'll go bad like that and the reason being is because of the fact that it's organic uh, it doesn't have any uh, preservatives uh, it doesn't have any of the garbage artificial preservatives that most of the other conventional breads uh, have out there. So therefore, um, it'll spoil a lot faster. What I like doing usually, and since I go through these um, a lot, I uh, usually buy them by the case. So if you haven't already had uh, the English muffin and you wanna try it and you end up getting addicted to it, I highly recommend that you buy a six pack of it. Uh, what I call a six pack, it's six in a case. So if you, if you buy the case, and if I'm not mistaken, I think every single store will hook you up with a 10% discount. 
I know uh, for a fact Whole Foods will. They'll um, provide you with a 10% discount if you buy a case. Going back to the spoilage, I may keep two in the refrigerator uh, section of my fridge and the others I'll store away in the freezer. So those are the first two points I wanted to uh, make on the bread. The third one being the price, depending on where you might be. Most locations or states throughout the US uh, have Trader Joe's. So at Trader Joe's, you'll find them there pretty cheap. Trader Joe's doesn't carry the Ezekiel English muffin. Uh, that's really the only health food store that I know of that doesn't uh, carry the um, English muffin. They do, however, carry the bread as well as a variety of uh, different types of Ezekiel uh, breads, uh, such as low sodium, the, um, the raisin and cinnamon uh, bread. So they carry that there. Um, and it's pretty affordably priced from the research I've done. Uh, Trader Joe's hands down has the best price on this bread. My favorite hands down is the, uh, the English muffin. And that's what I usually opt for. Um, and something to point out here, because every time there's a conversation that comes up on the English muffins, uh, everyone uh, that I know of pretty much brings up the uh, raisin cinnamon English muffin or the bread. Here's the cool thing. Um, it doesn't have any added sugar, only the natural sugar from the raisin. So the sugar count um, is non-existent. It doesn't have any added sugars. And that's the beauty of this company. They made sure all the various products that they uh, they have in their line uh, has no cheap oils, no flour, and no sugar. If they happen to run out of the English muffin, I will turn to um, the the bread. But I'm not a big fan of the bread, and this is uh, something I should uh, point out of importance. The bread is actually really really dry compared to the English muffin. These are not dry. These are freaking awesome. So not to put down the bread, it's great, but um, to avoid the dryness, go with the English muffin. Eating good, wholesome, um, satiating products such as this and various other products that are out there um, is key to optimal health. All of this healthy stuff is all hidden amongst the sea of low quality substandard breads. And not only breads, but uh, granola, oatmeal, and it's painstaking. I mean, you have to do the research. I mean, not everyone is a dietitian or a nutritionist or a personal trainer or a bodybuilder uh, who has an awareness of these things. And, and that's why uh, YouTube is so great because it gives uh, people like me an opportunity to discuss the value behind quality products, you know, and if I could change a person's life with, with just that, 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 that's great, you know, and, um, it's uplifting. It means a whole lot to me. So yeah, it's obviously very uh, nutrient dense. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it has no flour, no sugar, none of the products do, uh, with the exception of um, the raisin, cinnamon, uh, breads, and English muffins. Uh, but that's not added sugar. As I mentioned, it's natural sugar. So that's um, a huge plus. Um, it's very satiating. It keeps you full um, longer um, as opposed to it's um, unhealthy, low quality counterparts, the cheap breads, where it spikes your sugar level. And next thing you know, you're hungry again within 30 minutes to uh, 40 minutes, okay? Um, and those breads, you know, truly have um, just very toxic ingredients. Um, 
I mean, I'm not even gonna say they, they skimp out on decent ingredients. It's all pretty much made up of junk, of non-nutrient quality products. Uh, if you go to the store one day and, you know, make sure the cameras uh, aren't uh, pointing at you or you know, the, uh, the employees are, are <laughs> walking around, get a loaf of, of, I wish I had one. I should have bought it for this damn video. Get a loaf of Wonder Bread and, and crumble it up, right? I guarantee you, you could crumble it up so much to the point where you could put it, it'll fit in, in your fist, and that right there is evident of the low quality bread that it is. And the fact that it's, it's not heavy, it's not dense because this is pretty heavy, pretty dense, right? Um, and not very light and fluffy uh, like the Wonder Bread is. So that's really important um, to, to keep in mind when you're at the store uh, shopping for a healthy bread whether it's bread um, or uh, granola or really anything that you're trying to find that's that's healthy that's wholesome right you have to make sure keep this in mind whenever buying something uh, particularly something that's packaged you have to make sure that it has at least two grams of dietary fiber and two grams of protein each or higher or else what will happen is uh, your, your uh, blood sugar level will spike it, if it has anything less than that. Check this out, folks. So this bread has a glycemic level index of only 36. That's, that's freaking awesome, man, where they included the glycemic index on the package these guys rock and freaking roll i'm going to cover two last things here and i thought this was awesome folks i'm going to read off of um their very um sacred scripture here so check it out try to read along with me the flourless low glycemic complete protein Ezekiel 49 sprouted 100% whole grain bread. Ezekiel 49 sprouted grain bread is inspired by the holy scripture verse. Take also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils and millet and spelt and put them in one vessel and make bread of it. Ezekiel 49. Good Lord. Woo! I'm feeling gospel right now. Shoot. Oh, Lord. Okay. Let's continue here. We discovered when these six grains and legumes are sprouted and combined, an amazing thing happens. A complete protein is created that closely parallels the protein found in milk and eggs. In fact, the protein quality is so high that it is 84.3% as efficient as the highest recognized source of protein containing all nine essential amino acids. There are 18 amino acids present in this unique bread from all vegetable sources naturally balanced in nature ezekiel 49 bread made from freshly sprouted organically grown grains is naturally flavorful and bursting with nutrients rich in protein vitamins minerals and natural fiber with no added fat try it served warm to release its exceptionally rich nutty flavor the biblical bread is truly the staff of life i hope you guys enjoyed the video and please come back um i'm gonna keep uh putting out a lot of uh helpful and useful content thanks for tuning in guys trinalize changey fitness baby